Hi lovelies, it's me coming to you with a new video and as you can see by the title you know what it's about. My daughter has autism. I know if you've been following me since the beginning Probably not the beginning of my YouTube channel, but probably the beginning of my single mother by choice situation. You'd see I, at a certain point I stopped doing updates about Ava. And it wasn't because I was embarrassed. It wasn't because, well, in a way I didn't feel like sharing. I felt like I had to deal with the situation I was given. And at the time making videos about it when I didn't know what was going on or had to educate myself didn't seem like a wise decision so for me to be one with the situation handle the situation deal with the situation I kind of left Ava out of my videos so now with it being literally a year later I am ready to brace the subject of my daughter has autism and it's so funny because in the comments, when I say she wasn't talking, several people would say, is she autistic? And I'd kind of shut it down, oh, I don't want to talk about her diagnosis. And I just wasn't ready for that conversation, you know. Um, the people who knew were very limited. And the funny thing is, there is autism in my family. Not really a direct connect. And it was boys, because, you know, it hits boys four times as much. So I really thought I was safe having a girl, um, which I actually said to a woman, and she was not happy that I said that. But it's true. It hits boys four times as much. So I thought I was pretty safe having a girl. And there she goes. So what happened was, at her 12-month appointment... I was, you know, I'm a new mother of my first child. I'm talking to the doctor, and I'm like, she's not hitting her milestones. And, oh, that's okay. It's a big range. It, she'll do it. She did this. She didn't do that. Blah, blah, blah. You know, they kind of poo pooed me off. So, for a little background information, I had three different health insurances in this year for various reasons. So with these health insurances, my first health insurance that I had, you know, I love the doctor that I had. She was a young doctor. She always brought in a supervisor after appointments, you know, just in case she wasn't clear on something. And then she left for Doctors Without Borders, right? Which sucked. So then I eventually got another doctor that I had. Okay, so I got a new health insurance. And the doctors at the clinic I was going to was very limited. So I just randomly picked a pediatrician, which I should have did some research. Every time I was with this woman, I felt she rushed it, pushed it, you know, wouldn't listen to my concerns, really. And I was that mother who came into the doctor's office with a list of questions, always. Always a list of questions, what I should do about this, how she doing about that, blah, 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 blah. And she just was... It's almost like I felt like a number at the deli counter. She was eager. Stop it. She was eager to get us in and out. And um, she assumed I had the state insurance, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but just because I'm black doesn't mean I have the state insurance. I did have a job. And it was because I was complaining about my insurance having such a high deductible, which it did. When I applied, when I got this job, they lied about the insurance and the deductible was ridiculous. But anyways, so she assumed I had the state insurance. So with that, I'm like, do I get bullshit care because you assume I have the freaking state insurance? Had to fix the camera. So anyways, um, so by her 16 month, my major concern was she wasn't talking. Not that she wasn't talking. The, the girl had not said one word. No ma 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 ma, da 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 da, nothing. So I mentioned it to this woman, the doctor. And she's like, 
Well, that's okay. It's a big range, she says. It's a big range. That's okay. And then I'm like, it's not okay. Me and her kind of went at it. I was like, I know I ain't no freaking doctor, but this shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. And she's like, well, you can call early intervention if you want to. Like, like I'm just being freaking dramatic. And, and I also have to take a dial back. I wasn't just talking to the doctor about this. I was talking to friends and family about it, too, because... I was freaking concerned. I was concerned about milestones. I was concerned about the lack of talking. I was concerned about all these things, but I swear, and and I'm not saying these people don't love me or love Ava, but they all kind of poo-pooed me. They all kind of was like, um, she'll be all right, you know, just don't worry about it. Stop stressing, blah, 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 blah. And then it was her godmother. Thank God for her godmother. Her godmother was like, you're the mother. If you feel there's something wrong, then you do something. I'm like, you know what? You right. You right. So I called early intervention. I took a day off. And mind you, I just started a new job. So then I had better health insurance. This is like the best health insurance I've had in a while. Low deductibles, all that. I mean, health insurance these days suck, but this one was pretty decent. So... Excuse me. Early intervention comes. They come with five different women, and they take this two and a half hour test. Yes, two and a half freaking hours. And she didn't do well on communication. Like that was the worst one. And because of her test scores, we were immediately qualified for early intervention. Now this is when the doctor told me I could call if I wanted to, right? So they were really praising me for pushing through because I was getting bad information, right? So at this point, she got a speech therapist and a delay therapist or their general therapist that started coming on a regular basis. And then we moved up to an occupational therapist because she was having some issues in that department. I mean, there's a lot going on. So then... I got a new doctor. I'm like, forget this clinic, forget all that's included in this clinic. Everybody, I went to a whole new place and I got a new doctor. And I love this woman. She's nice. She's friendly. She's she's not short. She takes her time. She sits down and talks to me. She answers all my questions, whatever. So she gave me this questionnaire. And the questionnaire had about 12 or 15 questions on it and when I answered it was nope 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 she's not doing this she's not doing that she's not doing this so the woman looked over the questionnaire she's like look um she needs to be tested for autism and I'm like what what, what do you mean she's like look I'm not saying she has autism I'm saying she needs to be tested for autism and it was really 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 a blow you know what I mean like Especially when you have for no idea what that word means. And it seems to me that a lot of freaking people that deal with autism and autistic kids, meaning like the therapist, can't tell you shit either. Like everything is just a way to say they don't know. Okay? That, that's, uh, I figured it out. These people have mastered ways to say I don't know. <laughs> so, we get on the list for a developmental pediatrician okay and it was a six month waiting list so we're on this list but because she was under two they wanted us on the emergency list so the emergency list meant that no what? the emergency list meant that when there was a cancellation they'll call us and see if we could take the cancellation so they called like two or three times and it was like so freaking last minute that I couldn't do it. You know, I just started this freaking job, you know. So then one came up and I was like, okay, I'm just going to call in sick. And I went to this the, the, the appointment. It was me, my mom, and the speech therapist from early intervention because they came too. And the woman wasn't the most friendliest woman or whatever. And she the, the evaluation literally lasted 20, 30 minutes. And then ultimately, your child's autistic. And I'm like, what, what? You know what I mean? Because I already talked myself out of the fact that she'd get this diagnosis. So now I'm crying. I, I kind of keep it together until I get to the 
the parking lot and I kind of break down and sob like you know the speech therapist I'm like hugging her and you know it's just a moment okay I had a freaking moment so now we're approved for more therapy and we have ABA therapist which is the therapy I think it's called I, I'll put it in here what it's called I'll put it up there but the actual name for the acronym but we had ABA and we got approved for 25 hours we've never actually made it to the 25 hours and it's because of timing cancellations and these people do not necessarily stay in these jobs it's kind of a revolving door we've definitely had many therapists so she has ABA she has OT she has speech she has a delay therapist and they're thinking about music therapy okay so that's the realm of what my daughter does in a week in a week and when she is three she will start preschool and will be getting these services through the school system right which I've already visited the school and I'll do a video on that because now that I decided that I'm gonna put this out there I'm going to do videos on the process, on different things with autism that I found out, on meeting your village, because I'm all about meeting people in the same situation as you, and I really wanted to meet more people with autistic kids, preferably girls, you know what I mean, I really, really, really wanted to meet more people with girls, so um, I did meet a, a woman who has a, a child who's three, and I will do a video on that and you know it's just that God sends you what you need when you need it and meeting her has been a blessing she has definitely been a rock and we definitely share information and we go on different events together and stuff like that I also go out my way to find autistic events for various reasons and I can um, do a video on that too just because it, it it's just easier for her and it also gives me another chance to meet more parents in the same situation so um that's my story and i am definitely starting up an autistic series of i do not know everything and all these kids are different which is kind of scary in the sense that you meet one person with autism literally you met one person with autism it could mean so many different things to different people and you know our struggles are not necessarily everybody else's struggles for the simple fact that Eva is nonverbal and she she does have some of the other symptoms but not the behavioral ones but she does have sleep issues there's, there's like there's a lot to it there's a lot to it and I will go into it in my strategies and what I did and what I'm still doing to advocate for my child like comment subscribe holla back